two categories of clutter. It's my organized.life live December 3rd, 2018. And we're here Welcome. in December finally. Yes, Monday in December. Monday in December, yes. And we did have a little snow this weekend. Yes, and, we did. Uh, that's normal. Normal, here of course. Here in Minnesota. Yes, right? exactly. So anyway, well, welcome to MyOrganized.life Live. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. And this is the show where we give you organizing tips, advice, and uh, talk about all kinds of things. And today we're going to talk about clutter. The two kinds of clutter. Yeah. At did, least, you, did you know uh, there were two kinds? I, I did because clutter. we've talked about clutter for years, years and over almost here. Every, every podcast <laughs> has a new... Uh, angle on exactly. clutter, right? So every time we hear something new on clutter, we get really excited. Of course, yeah. Because we thought we knew it all. And is, but this makes sense. It yes. totally makes sense. This, as she is referring to, is mm -hmm. a podcast we did actually this year. Yep, this year. So uh, it Not was, that old. No. What's the number? 237? 227. 227. Okay, so if you go to smeed.com slash podcast, you don't have to scroll down very far. Nope, just a little bit. 227. It's yeah. a picture of the cat. On yes, the, the little the gray cat. person mm, petting the cat. Yes. Sandra um, Lane. Yes, yeah, Sandra Lane. And the podcast Podcast is actually called Happy Home, Happy, Happy you. you. But what was what, what spurred our attention was uh, uh, Sandra talked about two categories of clutter. Right. So let's take a listen and watch right now what she's talking about. Yeah, I'd like to start off this discussion by having folks recognize the clutter that they have acquired in their home. How did it get there? So just letting them know that there is a method to how this clutter has arrived and recognizing what it is, is the first step in remedying it. And there are two categories of clutter that I um, share with folks. The first is situational clutter and the second is self-imposed clutter. Okay, well, let's get into the, the situational clutter, I guess, first, because... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, how, how would you, I mean, to me, clutter is clutter, but there obviously mm -hmm. are different kinds of clutter. So let's talk about situational clutter. Sure. So situational is much like what it sounds, a situation or a circumstance, a life crisis, a life event of some kind suddenly puts you in a situation where you are inundated with large amounts of clutter. And some examples to illustrate that a child comes home after four years of college and all of their belongings are on your doorstep. Hmm. I, I think a, I think a really good example is last weekend. My daughter came home from college from the uh, house she was at, and uh, she just decided that when she brought everything back with her, uh, she was going to leave it like in this train. Uh, starting at the garage door all the way wrapped around the kitchen and into the living room. And it's like, and her thing was, I'm just so tired. Well, I know. It's like, Isn't it nice to have them back? Yeah. It, yeah, of course. You know, we, we overlook it all. <laughs> we were happy about that. But then I guess my wife wasn't super happy that uh, we had this train. I literally, it was piles. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like a choo-choo train that went around the corner. So um, yeah. anyway, yeah, yeah I, I totally understand that one. Right. So um, some other examples include a move perhaps to a home mm -hmm. that is smaller than your current home. If you do not downsize appropriately, you'll have a remainder of unopened boxes that just can't fit anywhere in your new smaller home. Okay. That is a situation that can cause clutter. Okay. Now there was another kind of clutter. We had situational. What's the other kind? Sure. Um, the other kind is self-imposed clutter, and this is really based on decisions that we make, and it most often occurs through acquisition. Oh, okay. So we are making purchases emotionally rather than the need for an item. So we may be motivated because it's on sale, or it's a buy one, get one free, or um, your friends are getting it, so you want it too. Right. And we're we may also acquire a number of things through hand-me-downs. Mm -hmm. We may get bags and boxes of toys and clothes for family members and our kids, but not really take the time to sort through those and really decide and discern what it is that we need rather than keep everything that was in the bag. Okay, so we, we have these two different kinds of clutter. How does mm -hmm. this affect us, though, uh, as far as being happy or not? I mean... You know, we have clutter, we have to deal with it, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, what, what, uh, when it comes to the happy home, how does this relate to that? Right. Well, there are studies and reports that link the clutter and excess in our life, that overwhelm that 
really overcomes us can affect our well-being. You know, if you are happy with your surroundings, it uh, positively affects you. And conversely, it can negatively affect you mentally as well as physically. So here's a few um, examples. Our focus is really uh, torn between the distraction and disorganization of the clutter in our life. And that can affect us staying focused and our cognition in terms of work or being as productive as we can be at home. And we can increase our stress and anxiety because the clutter is getting in our way. Think of those folks that might not have a filing system in place Mm -hmm. or a paper flow system and piles of paper are everywhere and they can't pay bills or get their taxes in on time. That can affect your stress, which of course can affect your health. And weight gain is another potential issue that can certainly happen. You could be so overwhelmed by the clutter in your space that eating is a coping mechanism for you. Mm. I haven't. I guess I haven't heard uh, that one. I know that uh, people do get stressed out. I mean, that's mm-hmm. uh, got to be one of the common things mm-hmm. when people call you, right? They're kind of overwhelmed by the whole situation. Absolutely, and oftentimes they are not necessarily attributing the clutter to any of these health issues that they have. Mm. I think we have gotten very, very good in our ways of adapting and adjusting to the clutter in our life. And we make excuses that, oh, it's probably just stress from work, or I'm just too busy. I can't prepare a decent meal. Or, you know, I have a bad mattress, so I'm not sleeping well. It is always something else, but it could also be your clutter. Yeah, well, that, it's interesting. That kind of causes this vicious cycle then. If someone says, you know, I'm too stressed out to deal with my clutter, but the clutter is what's stressing them out. I mean, how do you break that mold, right? Right. Well, again, it goes back to recognizing how it is that you've acquired this clutter and then really examining could that potentially be the reason that you're not sleeping well or that you have put on a few pounds or that you're so stressed that your hair is falling out and turning gray (laughs) so yes those things are definitely all right so we have situational clutter and we have self-imposed clutter and that podcast also has Tons more in Tons, it. Tons, yes. That's just one like little... How to overcome it, how yeah. to break the cl- clutter or the cycle of clutter and stress. Yeah, yeah. And actually, she talks about how clutter can relate to your weight yes. also. So Well, everyone wants to be happy, right? Mm-hmm. So if you want a happy home, run over to smee.com slash podcast, episode 227. Yep. Happy home equals happy... Happy you. you. Yeah, yes, it's a great podcast, of course. Great. Well, this has been uh, a great show today so far. I mean, I think the whole week's going to look like this, I right? think so. I think but so. But we won't project too far. No, tomorrow we'll have another, um, let's see. Great tidbit. Yes, maybe more on clutter. We'll see. We'll see. You have done the December calendar. I, now, I, I haven't have. been I haven't been presented with the I know. printed version. Well, so. you know, I didn't, I didn't really print it out because yeah. December is a short month for us. So we're going without a printed? We're going paperless this. Oh, well, besides yeah. this. How are we're we going to do that? Paper. That should be a, well, that might I'll be I'll just t- show up at your office and say, it's time to go do the show. So yes, let's here's do what it. we're doing. Okay. Well, I guess I can't wait till tomorrow. Uh, right. We'll have to find out what it is. You have to come back here 2 p.m. Central, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, myorganized.life live. Stock up on your favorite organizing products now at myorganize.life. This is the perfect time of year to equip your office with file folders, expanding files, project organizers, and more. And introducing our new bright white folder line that coordinates with any office decor. It's easy, shop online, and it's delivered right to your office. Stock up now on your favorites with everything you need at myorganize.life. That's myorganized.life, myorganized.life.